Hey guys, so in much of my videos and articles discussing exotic pets and how to inquire about legality of which animals are legal in what state, I've often stated that the only way to know for sure which animals are legal to own is to contact your state's authorities, such as the Department of Agriculture, Fish and Game, etc., entities of that nature, and confirm with them the laws of your state. I would discourage only doing online searches and asking around what the laws are, suggesting that this would yield false information. Well now, I'm going to partially retract this information based on my tedious experience trying to get a completely harmless pet 3 banded armadillo. And this was after searching for one for about 3 years. I had one person who was willing to sell me one, but unfortunately he was unable to produce babies and it seems like this happened as soon as he sold his last one, around when I started inquiring. There were, I think, two other people who had babies, but they would either refuse to sell to me when I found out that I had no USDA license, or they were just unresponsive after I chatted with them for a little bit. This is just something people don't realize when it comes to buying certain animals. Even though it seems like there's this crazy amount of unusual animals for sale, that doesn't mean they will all sell to you and most prefer to sell to USDA licensed facilities. I suspect that once they get a more favorable buyer, they just drop you from consideration and don't even bother telling you they're going with someone else. They just completely ghost you and I don't see why they don't have the decency to write down a simple sentence and just tell you what's happening. Anyway, I found someone who would sell to me who I almost didn't contact because he had no email and would only do business by phone, which made me nervous. But I finally figured what the heck, I'll just call the person. And they were actually very pleasant to deal with. This was a blessing in disguise because they were very tolerant when I began to run into problems getting the health certificate for the armadillo. So I paid for the armadillo by check. So as is required by my state, the seller took the armadillo to the vet to secure a CVI or certificate of veterinary inspection and unbeknownst to me, in order to get this document, they contact the authorities of the state the animal is being imported to so they can sign off on it. So then the seller calls me and says he can't get the CVI because they don't allow imports of armadillos into the state. So I was freaking out because I finally found one of the freaking animals and was so close to getting it, only to be told it's not legal. I'm very familiar with my state's laws as they have everything written down online, so this was a shock to hear. Of course, as I said earlier, you're supposed to call to find out for sure, right? And actually, I had first looked into the armadillo in 2016, but was kind of sort of told they weren't legal. The email I got said, quote, you must obtain the appropriate permits licenses from the Department of Agriculture before bringing the species into the state. Also be aware that it is possible for humans to contract leprosy from armadillos. That by the way is not applicable to three banded armadillos and the species that actually has been found with leprosy contracted it from humans and humans who got it from armadillos were coming into contact with roadkill armadillos or, or even eating them, which I didn't plan on doing. But when I checked with exotic animal people online, they told me the person who emailed me was just being cautious and didn't want to give me a yes or no, so I had determined eventually it was legal back then and began looking. Well, I had pretty much accepted that after everything that I went through, that I went through in the past, that it wasn't legal after all. But I was extremely irritated because there was basically no writing I could find that said the armadillo was not legal. So I decided they're gonna hear from me one way or the other, no matter what happens. So I called the state's, the state vet's office and basically as soon as I said I was told armadillos aren't legal, the person I was speaking to confidently stated to me that's right, they aren't, and I did inform him that the armadillo I was inquiring about was not a native species, which my state does regulate, but they didn't budge at all. So I said, show me where it says that in writing, and the guy actually spoke to a female first who transferred me to him, who, who said the same, basically told me, of course it must be in writing, they wouldn't just make up laws, right? <laughs> 
you would you would think that they wouldn't I, I was in complete agreement so they gave me a number for another entity and they made it very clear that they don't have any power over the matter anyway and they wouldn't be able to help me if I called back so it was obvious they were getting tired of me and they didn't want to hear from me again so I called the new phone number I was given and again a person who I think was a receptionist or something confidently told me they're not legal so again I said show me in writing so eventually I got an email of the person's interpretation of the law and why the armadillo isn't legal and I replied to the email calmly but sternly telling her nope this is completely wrong and here's why again I had accepted that I wouldn't get the animal anytime soon if at all but I wanted to make my concerns known. So after being confidently told that no species of armadillos are legal too important to the state, all of a sudden I get an email that says, oh wait, our wildlife biologist might determine that's legal if you send a picture and it's considered an exotic animal. That's not verbatim, obviously. So I was completely flabbergasted at this turnaround. It went from, no, that's not legal at all, regardless of species, to what I was trying to tell them all along. So long story short, I excitedly sent the picture and got permission to import the armadillo. He's probably, he's probably the only armadillo that's been imported into the state to a non-USDA facility. Now mind you, I had to pretty much confront three or four people in different departments to achieve this outcome. It's not like they even hesitated to tell me the animal was illegal and most people would have given up at that point especially since calling the authorities is supposed to be the best way to find out whether or not something's legal. You just assume that the people actually understand the laws and wouldn't give you completely wrong information. But my experience basically proves that this is not always the case. I have found out that people just say animals aren't legal when it just sounds like they shouldn't be, or at least they don't think it should be because the animal is so weird and they, they've never heard of anything like that before. In fact, I remember when I first asked about fennec foxes being legal in New York when I lived there, basically I was getting people's opinions on whether or not I should keep one instead of whether or not there was an actual law against it. And that's all I wanted to know. I was not interested in their opinions on, on how they felt. So that's just how it is with exotic pets and the crap we as owners have to deal with. People aren't even slightly concerned about giving accurate answers because, well, if I'm wrong about the law, that person has no business keeping the animal anyway, so who cares? I've also been concerned that calling authorities might trigger them to start looking into banning animals when they find out it's legal. That's just a fear of mine, I have no idea if it's true or not. And unfortunately, if it is, there's nothing we can do about that. But anyway, I would now at least recommend that if the documents you find online don't match up with what you're being told, then challenge it. Don't let them just dismiss you. Make them actually work to prove what they're saying so that they know that pet owners aren't just pushovers who will blindly accept everything they say. In my case, becoming familiarized with the documents online was my saving grace. So calling people isn't really the end all be all in some cases. So anyway, that's my long little rant. Beware people who don't even know what the laws are, but act like they do. Thanks for watching.